All right, guys. So in this episode, uh, continuing with increasing the boost on the mini and trying to get everything to work. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this one's kind of a struggle bus episode, but uh, you will, yeah, you'll see why. Let's um, let's just get to it. Okay, so it's another day. Um, it's kind of sprinkling outside again. Uh, so I've got some other things to do. I was about to take the battery box out, and I've had this battery box out like a hundred times since I've put this swap together. And this is the first time this has ever happened. This bolt and this bolt are freaking seized in there. They won't come out. Freaking ridiculous. I don't even know how I'm gonna get it out of there. I think I'm gonna have to freaking, I don't, I don't even know. I might have to cut the box or cut the bolt. I, this is dumb. It just will not come out of there. God, that was a pain in the ass. So this one, I ended up drilling it out until the head finally broke off. The one in the corner, I couldn't get a drill bit in there. So I ended up taking my freaking Dremel tool and grind it around the edge of it, around the plastic, until I could finally break it off of there. So now there's still a bolt in there. I gotta get that out. This one is at least the insert came out, so I can just put another, um, you know, rivet in there, a uh, rib nut. So I'll do that. I need to get this one out, and then I can put a rib nut in there, and then put a washer on it, and hopefully it'll be all right. Yeah, that's what victory looks like, guys. Got that stoop thing out of there. Put some rib nuts in there, so hopefully we should be okay. And I gotta find some new bolts. Hopefully I have some in the garage, but that's at least taken care of. All right, so now that the battery box is out of there, um, I had two reasons for getting that out. One was the transmission's been leaking a little bit of fluid, so I need to check the level and top it off. Um, I'll try to fix that down the road. You know, I'm not worried about it right now. Uh, the other reason is I'm finally going to install uh, my gauge that I've been trying to find time to do at some point. Um, so I've got this, uh, this Alta gauge pod, uh, basically it's going to mount like right next to the tack, which obviously the tack doesn't work on, uh, on the Mini Cooper right now. So, um, what I'm going to be installing is this, uh, Innovate, the power safe, um, uh, it's like a boost wideband combo and then it also has a shift light on it. Um, I actually made a mistake when I ordered it. I should have bought the... MTXD that they sell, which is basically the same thing. It just doesn't have the power safe option. But uh, I it'll work fine. It's just kind of a waste of money because um, I'm not going to use the uh, expensive part of this gauge, which it was like an extra. It's like another hundred dollars or something like that for this power safe option, which was it was my bad. Uh, but in any case, so it's uh, Innovate Power Safe uh, gauge. It's going to be yeah. It's going to show me boost. It's going to show me air fuel ratio and it's gonna have a programmable shift light so I don't have to worry about um, not having a tack anymore. Which, you know, it'd still be nice to have a tack, but shift light, at least is something. I'll have something to go off of. So I'm going to start figuring out how to mount this gauge pod so I can get the gauge mounted, and then I'll tackle the wiring. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is actually pretty straightforward. Um, there's literally just two Torx bits to take that gauge off. And then once you get it off, you can see there's just two screws right here that hold it in. So basically, this is just gonna go into there and then you can just kind of mount it wherever you want it. And they just provide you an extra long screw to put it in and then I, uh, I give you this little piece of silicone. I don't, I don't know if, um, yeah, I don't know how well that's gonna hold it in, we'll see. Um, yeah, I'll trip on the gauge in there and see if it's gonna fit. Cool, got that all mounted up. Looks pretty good. So I tuck those wires down in there. So now I gotta do all the wiring, which is, Honestly, kind of the shit part of it, but it shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too difficult. But uh, yeah, that's how it looks, and I really like it. I think it's going to be really good because it's just it's just in the right spots where I can see it pretty perfectly. I don't think the steering wheel is going to be in the way at all. It'll be right where I need it. All right, so there's a pressure sensor that comes with this gauge. I ended up mounting it right here and tying it in with the uh, the hose right there. You can kind of kind of see it. Um, just drilled some holes for that and then on the inside I ran all the wiring got all that tucked away just power ground and then tack signal um, I did switch out the gauge face because I was like you know what I think uh, I think it'll match a hell of a lot better if it's got a gray bezel and a white face so now we're all wired up hell yeah okay, I got everything set uh, gauge is all working it's all configured uh, wrapped up, put the battery and stuff back in there. We're running, about to make a drive to go get some more race gas, um, do a little bit of mixing, and 
yeah, start working on the tune again. pretty well the only thing i'm having problems with right now is the transient throttle it's basically like the tip in um it's getting a little bit better but there's still some spots that are kind of weird um like i just noticed on this last pull when i did like the third to fourth like between going full throttle third lifting full throttle fourth it like hesitates for like the tiniest millisecond you can kind of see it on the on the data graph um on the log and I still need to play with it a little bit. It's the tune is pretty close. I think I want I want to make one, one more from down low, just because there was kind of a weird spot real down low. Um, and then I think after that point, I think I'm gonna start uh, turn the bottle on and see, you know, see what we can dial in. I'm gonna start out, you know, smaller than what I was spraying in the last boost level, obviously, because I'm gonna be making a lot more power. So uh, I think I jetted it for like a 60 shot, something like that. Um, I think I used a 40. I'm trying to remember, I think it was a. 40 yeah 40 nitrous jet and then a 28 fuel jet so um yeah we'll try that i'm gonna make one pull on boost only and then we'll try turning the bottle on and see what's up all right so just like i thought i had to make a small change real down low in the rpm um everything else looks real good um i made a second pull off camera that uh i i turned the nitrous on with the bottle closed just to make sure that it was going to richen up and the ignition was going to pull what i wanted to pull and it did so i made a couple changes so i've got it basically i've, I've got the speed um enabled on the uh, nitrous controller basically i've got it set up so that it's it comes on at 77 miles an hour which is basically right when i shift into fourth gear because third gear it's already spinning so i can't really give it any more so i'm gonna try and give it you know fourth fifth sixth so we're gonna work on that and see where we're at Uh, it works um, definitely works uh, I really need to get a nitrous purge because this thing like yeah it definitely like every time I've you know I spray on it it kind of it kind of hiccups for a second and then it goes because it's just like fuel oh yeah oh yeah we should probably throw some nitrous in there too <laughs> uh, I guess it's better than the other way around but um, yeah I think uh, she's running pretty rich it's yeah she's real rich so we're gonna give it more nitrous because I don't have really any smaller fuel jets so we're gonna jet it up I mean the way I look at it is I'm just gonna keep uh, keep giving it nitrous and you know until I feel until I feel good about it I mean I, I'm probably I mean realistically I'm probably just gonna spray with a hundred just like I did with the six pounds but we're gonna we're gonna baby step up to there so let's do it okay swap jets I got a 42 nitrous jet in there now uh, still got the 28 fuel um, so that should be it's like almost a 70 shot ish i mean we can do this 70 shot because obviously boosted it's gonna be a lot more than that so um yeah let's go try it interestingly enough um it's still really rich it uh it's it's like on the hit it's like 10 6 10 7 not good and then it kind of comes up and it's like 11 0 pretty much all the way up so you guys know what that means that means it's time to give it even more nitrous so i guess i'm gonna throw the uh throw the 52 jet in for the nitrous and i'll give it a little bit of bump on the fuel side and yeah we're gonna see what it does all right so i just put in a 52 nitrous jet and i put in a 32 fuel now when i was running six pounds before um, and I was running a hundred shot. I was actually running a 52 nitrous and then I was running a 35 fuel. I'm actually stepping the fuel down a little bit because when it was on, um, when it was on six pounds before, it was actually running a little bit rich. But what I've also noticed is every step I've made with the nitrous, it stayed consistently very rich. And I think it's because now that I have a big fuel pump, the fuel pressure regulator is actually able to keep up. So the more boost it's getting, the more fuel pressure it's getting. Whereas before it was tapering off and it was just kind of falling out at the top so it didn't have enough fuel up way up high but now it's continuously adding more fuel pressure so it doesn't actually need as big of a fuel jet so we're gonna try this 
hopefully this works out. It's kind of a, it's a, yeah, it's kind of a lot, but we're going to do it. <laughs> Right, so definitely pulled better um it's definitely still running pretty rich um i think you know my original thought before i jetted it up is that it probably would have been okay to just leave that 29 jet in it and go to a 52 but i was like we're gonna err on the side of caution well it was pretty rich i can't look view my data logs because unfortunately my laptop died but good news is because I have a gauge finally, I actually could view the wideband as I was going. So I know that it was running like, it was in the tens for AFR. So I can pull some fuel. So I think I'm going to drop it down from, I think I'm, I'm gonna try and see if I, I, I might have a 30 jet. If I have a 30, I'm gonna put that in there. If not, I'll just go right back to the 29. Um, yeah, let's do that. All right, so that uh, last pull on the, uh, you know, with the same with the 100 shot, with the 52 jet, with the uh, the 30 fuel, it's still rich for sure. It's better than it was on the last pull, but it's um, you can see it's it's hovering close to 11.0. That's like 10.9, 10.8 right there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see I'm gonna see what I can do. See how much further I can go down. I think I have a 29 and a 28 jet, so I can go down a little bit more, and hopefully that'll put me right where I need to be. So. In case you, I, I don't know if the video actually picked it up, but that last that last pull where I pulled a little bit of fuel out, like it was definitely pulling harder because it started spinning in fourth, and it's never done that with the exception of the other day and the, you know sprinkling rain that doesn't really count. But like uh, yeah, on dry pavement, perfectly flat and smooth concrete, dude, she's she's making some steam. Um, yeah, so I did find. Uh, a 28 jet, so I went from the 30 to 28. So I mean, realistically, that should put me like right where I need to be. Um, I'm still waiting on the laptop to charge. It's still pretty low on charge. And then I'm gonna go out and try it again. I did pull one more degree of timing. Uh, I might have to pull even more timing just because it's probably gonna keep trying to spin. If it tries to spin too much, I'll pull some more timing just to try to keep the power down just a little bit. So I actually have traction because I don't really have the option of going down in a nitrous jet because I don't have anything between 42 and 52. So it's just kind of where it's gonna have to be. But I mean, realistically guys, I mean, on a hundred shot, this thing should be like way over 500. Like we should be like 530, 540, something like that. Like it's, she's, uh, she's moving guys. timing definitely uh it did, didn't spit didn't spin that time um i'm gonna make another pull um and see it was it was smoking quite a bit after i got off of it and i think it's just you know a bunch of fuel dumping from the freaking nitrous you know still the fuel still in the line um i want to i want to kind of see what it happens when i actually do like third fourth fifth so and then also um unfortunately off camera i made a it was kind of a dumb decision i made a pull like uh you know, I did a second to third, and third did not go in, and unfortunately, now my transmission needs rebuilt because uh, third gear, the uh, synchro, it's grinding. Every time you try to go in, put it into third at any sort of higher RPM, it just fucking grinds every time. It does go in, and it stays in, but still, it really sucks. I'm gonna have to fucking go through the transmission this winter, I guess. That or get another one, I don't know, something. pretty good um looking at it through the map it's still kind of rich it's like 11 1 to 11 3 ish kind of through there um it'd definitely be nice to pull a little bit more fuel out if i had a smaller jet i would probably put it in there but i don't the other option is to go up with nitrous but the fact that my transmission is already acting sketchy i'd rather not give it any more yeah any more nitrous i am however going to give it a little bit more power which is kind of contradictory but um I gave it about one degree of timing and which isn't a lot, but I, that's what I took out before. So I'm going to add it back in 
and yeah, I'll do another poll, see how it is. If it feels pretty good. I might be just, I might be done for the night, or at least until I got to race some people anyway. Guys, this is a shitty uh, situation to have. So I'm stuck on the side of the interstate. Uh, all of a sudden, the car lost fuel pressure. It, um, yeah. If I turn the key on, I can hear the fuel pump priming, but it's not, there's nothing registered on the gauge. It comes up to like two or three pounds and it goes back down. So I, yeah. You know, my only thought at the moment is that maybe one of the fuel lines came off of the fuel pump, which is unfortunately in the tank. And I don't know how I'm gonna fix that on the side of the road. So fuck. Yep, here I am, side of the fucking road, fuel pump. Uh, yeah, there's supposed to be a hose on there. It's supposed to go to there. Which means it's down in the tank, as well as the fucking hose clamps. Fuck! God, this fucking blows, guys. It's so fucking hot. I sweat my ass off. It's fucking raining now, so I can't even. Ugh! This is shit. So, the fuel line did come off of here. I tried to put it back on. It started. I literally turned the key to on, and then it immediately fucking blew out. What? <sighs> so clearly, this fuel line that. AM provides with their in-tank fuel pump is not submersible. What? Why would they even send the hose if you can't even fucking use it? What kind of stupid shit is that? Well, guys, I'm moving. I'm, uh, hopefully I can make it home. It's real sketch. That hose is super soft. I'm just gonna cruise it real slow and hopefully I can make it there. I'm not too far from home. God, now I gotta find, now I gotta find submersible hose. It's like 7.30. Hopefully, one of the parts stores in town has what I need and they aren't gonna close too soon, but I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay, so I got the fuel line replaced. Um, basically, it's this Gates submersible hose. Um, it's 27093, the part number for this 516th hose. If you guys need one in the future, because now you know, if you buy an AEM pump, you have to buy submersible fuel line because they should be the wrong one because not just it didn't just happen to me uh, I was talking to one of my other friends and they said that the exact same thing happened to them so apparently they just ship out the wrong shit I don't know I it just makes no sense to me why they would do that but whatever but uh, I'm gonna go make another poll I want to make sure that it's still okay before the roll race tomorrow I was supposed to go race some guys but it seems kind of up in the air I don't know if it's gonna happen or not maybe not but at least I'm gonna go get this poll done I got that pole in and the car it's running great um everything looked pretty good it's still like i said it's still a little on the rich side but there's not much i can do about that um without just you know adding more nitrous or something which it's not really what i want to do um yeah so i think uh yeah i think we're just gonna leave it it uh it is definitely trying to get hot on me though the coolant temperature is kind of keeps trying to creep up on me and i'm kind of wondering if pushing this much power through it. I th I'm wondering if this head gasket is like on the verge of going out, which it would not surprise me, but I don't know. Um, maybe it's a winter project. Maybe when I fix this transmission, uh, I tear the engine down too and do a head gasket, do head, dead head studs or something. I don't know. But I guess, uh, yeah, nobody, nobody really wanted to go out and get some roll races in the night. So I guess I'm done for the night. Hey guys, uh, I think I'm gonna end the video right there. I had um, a lot of content that, like I said, I had with the last video and then this video, and I'm gonna have another one because um, this has been an, a real big debacle with this car. Uh, it, um, yeah. So the next video you'll see, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do some roll races, and yeah, it's gonna be more more issues. But uh, <laughs> it it definitely, you know, as of the end of this video, you know, it seemed like everything was working correctly and. It was, yeah, I was, I was very hopeful that it was going to do well, but you'll see in the next video that it may not be the case, but, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one and, uh, like, subscribe, do all things and peace out.